the Gospel according to Luke. The angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in the hill country of Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph, the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. He went in and said to her, Rejoice, so highly favoured, the Lord is with you. She was deeply disturbed by these words and asked herself what this greeting could mean. But the angel said to her, Mary, do not be afraid. You have won God's favour. Listen, you are to conceive and bear a son, and you must name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David. He will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom will have no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this come about, since I am a virgin? The Holy Spirit will come down upon you, the angel answered, and the power of the Most High will cover you with its shadow. So the child will be called holy and will be called the Son of God. Know this too, your kinswoman Elizabeth has in her old age herself conceived a son, and she whom people call barren is now in her sixth month, for nothing is impossible to God. I am the handmaid of the Lord, said Mary, let what you have said be done to me. And the angel left her. The Gospel of the Lord. gospel we've just heard tells us how Mary, even though she was afraid, she, she said yes to God's plan for her. And when she said yes, God helped her to see that he would be with her no matter what she would have to face. Did you know that in the Bible, the phrase, do not be afraid, is said 365 times once for every one for every day in the year. This year we have gone through a time of fear, uncertainty because of the virus has brought fear to our lives. 
And sometimes that fear can paralyze us. But the Christmas story tells us that we're not abandoned, that God is with us. And Jesus wishes to be come to each and every one of us in the midst of whatever we're going through. Yes, in the midst of our fear. How do we allow him to do that? We turn to Mary, his mother, and ask her to help us not to be afraid. She was a young woman when she was asked to do the most important task any human being has ever been asked to do. To give birth to a child. To bring that child into the world. A child who was the son of God. We need not be afraid of any situation or circumstance when we turn to Mary and ask her to help us. This Christmas, we hope that you have a peaceful time with your families. There may be times of fear. And all I would encourage you to do is turn to Mary and say the prayer that we all have known since, since we were a child. She knows us better than we know ourselves. And she tells us to place our faith and trust in Jesus, her baby, our Saviour. The person who came to show us that love casts out all fear. When we know that we're loved by God, and we say yes to that love, we need not be afraid. So maybe just for a moment, you think of some situation that you feel you're afraid of this Christmas. And we bring it to Mary and ask her to help us to trust that Jesus is with us, to save us from our fear, to save us from any selfishness and sin, and to help us to experience the joy of knowing that we're loved by God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. <laughs> Jesus Christ came about. His mother Mary was engaged to be married to Joseph. But before they came together, she was found to be with a child through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband, was a good man and did not want to expose her to public disgrace, 
he decided to divorce her quietly. But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him, and took Mary home as his wife. is born in Bethlehem. In those days a census was taken of the entire Roman world. Everyone went to his own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth to Bethlehem because he belonged to the house of David. Mary went with him. While they were there the time came for the baby to be born and she gave birth to a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger, 
because there was no room for them in the inn. Jesus. There were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flock at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, I bring you good news. Today in the town of David, a Saviour has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. Suddenly, a great host appeared with the angel, praising God. When the angels had left them, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see what the Lord has told us. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. I heard the bells on Christmas Day. Peace on earth, good will to men, and the bells are ringing like a choir they're singing, and in my heart I hear them. Peace on earth.
After Jesus was born, during the time of King Herod, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star in the east and have come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed. He called together all his advisors and asked them where the Christ was to be born. In Bethlehem in Judea, they replied. Then Herod called the wise men. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and make a careful search for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me, so that I too may go and worship him. They went on their way, and the star they had seen in the east went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. There they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. They opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country by another route. <laughs> made this carol service so very very special this afternoon. Thank you to all of our readers, Grace Flood, Regan Morrison, Caitlin McFay, Orla Morris, Jeannie McLaughlin, to our beautiful instrumentalists Maeve Coy, Maeve O'Donnell and Deirdre O'Donnell. To those members of our school choir who gave of their gifts so beautifully to sing for us, 
Shanna McCallion, Caitlin Doherty, Eva Logue, Sarah Malloy, Sarah Spencer, Grace Flood, Hannah McMonagall, and Kelsey McShane. And to the always amazing soloists, Caitlin McPhee, who sang Joseph's Lullaby, Clara Hutton, O Little Town of Bethlehem, Lauren Doherty, O Holy Night, Lauren McLaughlin, Mary, Did You Know? Rianne Doherty, I Heard the Bells on Christmas Day, and Jeannie McLaughlin, who sang Wexford Carol. Thank you all so much. You were beautiful. Thank you to Mrs. Kearney and Mrs. Davidson for preparing for this beautiful service, and to the amazing Miss McConnell and Mr. Quinn for their outstanding music. In a special way, I want to thank Father Gormley and Father McFall not only for the work they do with us on a day-to-day -day basis, but for providing the beautiful faith services that we have right through the year. I want to thank all of our staff at the school, our pupils, our boards of governor, governors, our past pupils, parents, and friends of our school for joining us in the celebration of the Nativity and for being so absolutely incredible over these last few COVID-filled months. You have played a blinder and been outstanding. Bless us, Lord, this Christmas with quietness of mind. Teach us to be patient and always, always, to be kind. I want to wish you all a very, very happy, holy and safe Christmas. God bless. Let us. Let us see you in the beauty of flowers and stars. Let us hear you in the whisper of the breeze. Let us feel you in the company of family and friends. Let us know you in our times of prayer. Prince of Peace, let us see you let us hear you, let us feel you, let us know you, in our school, homes, community and city this Christmas.